For this tutorial, we are going to consider beam wire and a conversion test. So we consider a cantilever beam with 5 meter long and 1 kN load is applied at the free end. The cross-section area of this cantilever beam is rectangle shape and the depth of the beam is 0.4 meter and width is 0.6 meter. Given that the Young modulus of the structure is 200 gigapascal. The Poisson ratio is zero. So we are going to find the maximum stress of the beam. So we may start with one element. For the theoretical calculation, so first we are going to calculate the second moment of area. So given that the width of the beam is 0 0.6 meter and the depth is 0 0.4, so therefore the second moment of area is 3.2 times 10 to the power of minus 3 meter power of 4. So from this equation, we, are, we can calculate the stress. So the stress is given as, so the moment is 5 times 1000. The y is the distance from the neutral axis to the surface of the beam, which is 0 0.2, and divided by the second moment of area. So therefore, the maximum stress is 312.5 kilopascal. So if we are going to consider in the numerical solution in Apacus, so what first we are going to click on the parts. So double click on the parts. So a created parts window will appear. So you may rename the structure as cantilever. So followed by deformation type and wire base feature approximate size is 5 after that um, we, we may create a line by clicking the create line uh, button then we are going to draw a horizontal line with a certain distance next we are going to add the dimension and to measure the length of the wire, so which is dimension of 5. Please note that alpacas do not take any unit. If you enter 5, this means that the length is in 5 meters. After that, click enter, followed by a cross button, and finally click the done button. For the material properties, so we are going to double click on the material. So, and the edit material window will appear. Then we are going to click on mechanical, followed by elasticity, and followed by elastic. After that, uh, we are going to enter the Young modulus of the structure, which is 200 gigapascal, and the Poisson ratio is 0. So this is how we are, we are going to select the material properties for the structure. Next, we are going to click on the instances. After we click on the instances, a created instance uh, window will appear. So you, we, are going, we, we do not need to do anything for this part, just click OK. So for next is the section. Double click on the section and the create section will appear. So we know that the cantilever beam have the cross section of width 0 0.6 meter and the depth is 0 0.4 meter. Therefore, we are going to select the beam type. After we select the beam type, we are going to click continue. So once we click continue, a uh, edit beam section will appear. So do you guys see the profile name? Click on the button on the yellow button and a create profile will appear. So we know that the beam have the rectangle in shape. So we are going to select rectangle and click continue. So after we click continue and edit profile will appear. So in this section, we know that the width of the structure is 0 0.6. So we are going to enter A is 0 0.6. And the depth of the structure is 0 0.4. So therefore, 
we, we key in 0 0.4 for the column B. Then we are going to click OK. So for the section part, we are done. Next, we are going to select the section assignment. So in the section assignment, double click on the section assignment and we are going to select the beam followed by click done. After we click done and edit section assignment will appear. So in this case, so we are going to select section one, which is we have only one section and click OK. After we click OK, so we are going in the menu bar, we are going to click assign and select the beam section orientation. Click on the beam section orientation and we are going to select the wire beam and it will show as follow in red color if we select correctly. After that, so we are going to click done and it will show us this window bar here. So we are going to click enter and follow by OK. So we have done the section assignment. For the boundary condition, so in the boundary condition, so double click on the boundary condition as shown in the red box and a create boundary condition window will appear. So we are going to select symmetry and we are and click continue. After we click continue, so we are going, we, we know that on the left hand side, the beam is fixed. So we are going to select the beam on the left and followed by click done. After we click done and edit boundary condition window will appear. So we are going to select the end caster. So this means that U1, U2, U3, so the displacement 1, 2, and 3 is equal to 0. UR1, UR2, and UR3. So the slope of 1, 2, and 3 at that particular point we are selecting just now is equal to 0 as well. And then we click OK. So after we click OK, so we are going to click the double click the step and a created and create step will appear so we are going to select linear perturbation and click continue after we click continue so an edit step window will appear so we do not do anything for this section just click ok so this is the step for the section how about loads? After we define step, so we are going to define loads. So in this case, double click on the load and a create load window will appear. So we know that a concentration load is applied at the free end of the structure. So we select concentration force and we click continue. After we click continue, so we are going to select which point is we are going to apply lot on our structure. So we are going to select the yellow dot and follow by click done. After we click done and edit lot window will appear here. So we know that we are going to apply vertical lot at that point which is 1 kN. So in this case, so we are going to enter minus 1 kilonewton and click continue uh, sorry in click ok so the wire beam will look as follows so on the far left hand side so the constraint is 0 on the far right hand side so they will you will see a, a down arrow appear on the screen okay so the next step is to mesh our wire beam so we go to the model one and select the mesh MT. Double click on the mesh MT and next we are going to in the menu window we are going to select seed for and select edge. After we select edge, 
select the whole wire beam and follow by click done. After we click done, so and a local seat window will appear. Okay, so we know that we are going to uh, use one element, but the beam length is 5 meters. So if we are going to use one element, so therefore the element size is 5. So we enter 5 in the approximate element size and we click OK. The next step is to mesh our part by clicking the mesh button on the menu window and followed by parts. Then it will ask you OK to mesh the part. Click yes. So we are done for the meshing. This means that we are going to create our input file. So in this case, so we double click on the jobs and create jobs window will appear. So in this case, click continue and followed by OK. So the next step is, so right click on the jobs one and then click submit. Okay, so after we click submit, so the alpacas will run for a few minutes, then it will stay complete. So the simulation is done now. So after the simulation is done, so right click on the job one and click result. So in this case, so you will see in the alpacas window, so you will realize that the color bar is unable to read. So we are going to resize the font size of that particular win uh, 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 scale. So how we are going to do is click on the view, followed by two bars, followed by a view port. So and the view port window will appear on the Apacus uh, window click on the viewport annotation and a viewport annotation option window will appear. So we are going to set the legend and select the font size we require. Okay, so we can also uh, change the font size of the title block, stats block and so on. So after we change the font size, so we are able to see our legend. So since we have only one element, Therefore, the value of each bar, each uh, color scale is constant. If we want to export our solution in the report file, so we can do by clicking the report and followed by XY output. And we are going to that particular directory and select the output file. So this is one of the output file. So in this output file, we have only have one element, which is the maximum stretch is 156.25 uh, kilopascal. Okay, so this is what we have. We need to uh, note it down first. Okay, so the second step is to repeat it with different element. So in this case, so I'll give you an example here. So we are going to use five element and run the simulation again. After we run the simulation, we from the output file we know that there are five elements because we are specified five elements at the moment. So the maximum stress is occur at the element one, which has the value of two eight one point two five kilopascal. So you will realize that if I use one element, so the stress is lower. If I use five elements, the stress is slightly higher. So how do I know my stress is correct? Okay, so we are going to we are going to repeat with different uh, element size or increase the number of element. So in the next slide, so I'm going to, I'm going to show you with different element size. Okay, so for the first two row, which I have shown you in earlier, but I'm going to do another five simulation, which is element size of 0 0.5 up to element size for 0 0.004.
So in this case, the maximum stresses is from 156 until 312 kilopascal. If I compare this value with the theoretical solution, so and I realize that if I increase the number of elements, the error is reducing. Okay, so if I reduce the number of uh, error, so the computational time will increase. So how do we know what is the optimum size we are going to choose? So we are going to plot this data in the graph. From this graph, for the horizontal axis is the number of elements and the vertical axis is the maximum stress. So in this case, so the yellow dot is represent the maximum stress corresponding to the particular uh, number of elements. So the next step is we are going to plot a polynomial curve across the graph. So in this case, so we, we found out that the maximum the maximum stress is occur roughly about 500 element. So therefore, we can choose 500 element as our number of element in this particular beam which has the element size of that value. Okay. So I hope you will understand the concept of convergent test in this video. Thank you.